White coat syndrome, also known as white coat hypertension, refers to a phenomenon where an individual's blood pressure increases in a clinical or medical setting, typically due to anxiety or stress. It is a common occurrence that affects about 15 to 30 percent of the population. While white coat syndrome may not pose any immediate health risks, it can lead to misdiagnosis, unnecessary medical procedures, and increased healthcare costs. If you have white coat hypertension, you may even notice yourself getting tense or anxious hours or even days before the appointment, as you anticipate having a high blood pressure reading. By the time you sit in the chair to have your vitals checked, your heart is already starting to race and your blood pressure elevates. The more you tell yourself to calm down, the more tense you become, and of course, your pulse and blood pressure keep rising. The steps to curing white coat syndrome may vary depending on the severity of the condition and the underlying causes. Believe it or not, many people who have white coat hypertension, also have some form of chronic anxiety, or consider themselves worriers. People with this disorder are more likely to already have social anxiety, generalized anxiety, OCD or an overall fear of being judged. So the white coat hypertension is actually a symptom of being a chronically anxious person. Here are some steps for dealing and curing this disorder. The first step toward curing white coat syndrome is knowing yourself. Think about your own habits or known conditions. If you know that you struggle with generalized or social anxiety, speak to your doctor or mental health professional. That way you can actually get to the bottom of the problem. Remember, white coat hypertension is often the symptom of a larger issue with generalized anxiety. Your nervous system may already be wired and revved up. One way to stay calmer is to drink beet juice three hours before your appointment. Beets are high in nitrates, which your digestive system converts into nitric oxide. This compound helps relax and widen the blood vessels, which, in turn, lowers blood pressure. Many people notice significant drops in as little as 3 hours, and even more 24 hours later. The easiest way to consume a generous amount of beets is to buy a beet powder and add a serving amount to a smoothie or glass of water. You may even notice a feeling of calmness an hour or so after ingesting. Tell the nurse or doctor about your condition before your blood pressure is taken. Many of them will be very understanding if you explain to them that you have this issue. Sometimes, this will help you relax. You could even ask them to take another reading toward the end of the appointment when you are more settled. Even if your blood pressure is not down to its normal level, it will probably be lower than the initial reading. Another way to alleviate white coat syndrome is to monitor your pressure regularly when you are relaxing at home, preferably at the same time every day. This can help you gain a better understanding of your pressure levels and identify any patterns or triggers that may be contributing to the anxiety. You can even take a picture of a recent reading prior to attending your appointment. Now you can show the doctor or nurse that your blood pressure was normal prior to arriving at your appointment. Doing this may help you relax more, because you know that you'll have a lower reading to show. As a result, you won't mind so much if your pressure shows a higher reading at your appointment. Practice relaxation techniques regularly, techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, and yoga can help you manage anxiety and stress, which can reduce the likelihood of experiencing white coat syndrome. As you arrive at your appointment, intentionally take deep inhales through the nose, expand your diaphragm and lengthen your exhales. Also, be careful about taking shallow breaths. When you're nervous before an appointment and try to breathe deeply, you may inadvertently breathe in too hard from the chest and take shorter exhales. This can actually raise your blood pressure. Once again, inhale slowly through your nose and take longer exhales prior to having your reading. This will activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Take a dose of magnesium glycinate an hour before your appointment. This supplement is nature's chill pill and can help your mind and body relax. Make lifestyle changes for long-term results. Doing things such as exercising regularly, maintaining a healthy diet, and reducing alcohol and caffeine intake can help you manage your blood pressure and reduce the likelihood of experiencing white coat syndrome. If your primary fear is being judged about having this condition, remember that nurses and doctors are humans. More than likely they've seen this condition numerous times. If they insist that you be put on medication from just one or two readings, consider seeking a physician who is more understanding and willing to monitor your ongoing blood pressure without jumping to conclusions. In summary, white coat syndrome is more common than you might realize. Even though it doesn't always mean you have chronic high blood pressure, if you regularly struggle with anxiety, that can turn into a more chronic issue with your blood pressure as time goes on. To cure it, work on your overall anxiety about having white coat hypertension. Remind yourself that it's okay to feel nervous and be open about your anxiety issue as soon as you arrive. This will help you relax more at your appointment.
The more you try to stop yourself from being nervous, the more nervous you become. Take a few deep breaths with long exhales and remind yourself that you are not alone, and it's very normal to have this condition. Hopefully, you will relax more. So be sure to talk to your doctor about any ongoing anxiety issues you may have, and always consult them before taking any new supplement. Thanks for watching.